Hey, fellow Mathers, thanks for listening to the podcast. Before we get into this episode, have we got some really important information. Y'all, registration is now open for our Building Powerful Mathematics online workshops. These are the magic, the why, when, how, the details, the experience, making real mathing happen in you and your classroom. We've got a workshop targeted for your grade level. Whether you teach kindergarten, high school, or anything in between, you can find the best workshop for you at mathisfigureoutable.com slash workshops. mathisfigureoutable.com slash workshops. Registration is only open for a short time, so book your spot before it's too late. Now on to the show. Hey, fellow mathers. Welcome to the podcast where math is figure outable. I'm Pam Harris. And I'm Kim Montague. And this episode is a math strat chat episode where we chat about our math strategies. Every Wednesday evening, I throw out a math problem on social media and people from around the world chat about the strategies they use and comment on each other's thinking. And Kim, yes. and learn from each other. Oh, like, I love it. The, the number of people who lately have been posting Oh my gosh, I've never thought of this until I saw it last week or the week before, and now I'm trying, and it occurred to me. Oh, it's brilliant. It's, I it's love so it. fun. Yeah. I yeah. especially love when people say, last week, so-and-so, and they tag somebody. Mm, they say, so-and-so nice. did blank, and I wanted to try it. It's super fun. I love that they're helping each other and um, Give tagging each other. Each other. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, love it. Okay. Love, love it. So we would love that to happen this week. And on this Wednesday, our problem was 462 minus 227. So how would you solve the problem? Pause, please. Make mm -hmm. yourself think about it. Solve it any way you would like, and then chime in on social media. Our problem <laughs> is 462 minus 227. Bam. All right. Um, I'm going to go first this time. Okay. So uh, I thought about trying to be you and oh. over um that but, is so funny but subtract 227 blah that's not a very ovary number at all so then i thought darn it i'm gonna have to be me <laughs> and I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna think um constant difference so good luck i don't know what you're gonna do uh so i'm just plunking down 227 on a number line and 462 and i'm asking myself how far apart they are and i'm thinking Ugh, i don't really want to do that so um i'm gonna shift that distance up a little bit to 230 i'm not sure i'm gonna like this so i reserve the right to change it if I shift 227 to 230, that's up by 3. Then I'm going to shift 462 to 465. That's up by 3. Now I have the equivalent problem, 465 minus 230. That's not bad. That's just 235. Okay. I That was fabulous. Okay. Uh, okay. And it and it is good to be you. <laughs> so good to be you. Um, the reason I said that's so funny was because as you, like right before, as I read the problem, uh -huh. I said to myself, oh, I'm going to over and, and then when you said you were going to over, I was like, oh man, I got to think of something fast. <laughs> uh, Are you still going to over? I am because- Oh, I can't wait. All I right. know. Well, because I also think that 462 minus 230 isn't all that bad. So uh, 462 minus 230, you know, I thought about the 230 kind of, kind of in my head real quick. And I was like, oh, I did do a little comparison and there was no- uh, you know, the place values kind of worked nicely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so back to 30 would be 232. And then I adjusted three to get to 235. Nice. Yeah. So it doesn't really look like a, a great over problem, but because the place values kind of fall apart really nicely, that one turned out not bad. Because 200 or 400 minus 200, you can do and 60 minus 30 is cool. And then there's that two left over. Okay. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right, huh. everyone. We can't wait to see what you do. Join us on Mouse Chat Chat and let us know how you think about the problems. And I better scroll so I know what to say next. Um, hey, and we post the problems on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. When you answer, tag me and use the hashtag Math Strat Chat. Then join us here to hear how we're thinking about the problem. Y'all, thanks for being part of the Math is Figure Outable movement because math is figure outable. Thank you for listening and making math more figure outable. Y'all, Kim and I get so many questions. So many of you are encouraged and excited to teach math, real mathing, and we're doing our best to answer your questions in depth, but we can only do so much on the podcast. But there's so much more. Where can you learn all the things that you need to make math more figure outable? In our Building Powerful Mathematics online workshops. Find your best fit at mathisfigureoutable.com slash workshops. 
If you are a pre-K through 12 educator, we have a workshop for you. Here's a bit of a breakdown. If you are pre-K 2, check out Building Addition for Young Learners. Grades 2 and up, Building Powerful Subtraction. Grades 3 and up, Building Powerful Multiplication. Grades 4 and up, Building Powerful Division. Grades 5 and up, Building Powerful Proportional Reasoning. Grades 8 and up, Building Powerful Linear Functions. And our most recent for everyone, Building Powerful Fractions 1. You can find the best workshop for you and register at mathisfigureoutable.com slash workshops. Let's change the world together and make math more and more figure outable.